Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniela, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I make notes during my online lectures at medical school. Okay, so this has been a little bit of trial and error for me, and I feel like I've finally found something that is working. So I started medical school back in September, and it was really hard at the beginning because I had to learn how to learn, if that makes sense. I hadn't studied properly in about three years because I was working full time so it was like a huge huge learning curve for me. I initially started taking handwritten notes because that's what I used to do during my undergrad and I would basically just like copy out things that were on lecture slides, highlight things, write things in colourful pens, try and make it look pretty. I don't know, just that's what I was used to. And then maybe like two weeks into the course, I realized I was just drowning in work and it was taking me way, way, way too long to get through a single lecture. We had maybe 15 to 20 lectures that we had to do per week and each lecture would maybe take me a good hour and a half, maybe two hours. So yeah, it was just not possible for me to keep doing that. And so one day I was just chatting to some of my friends and we were just talking about how like difficult we were finding everything and one of the guys said, hey let me show you how I've been taking notes, I've been using Notion. I was in awe, I'm not gonna lie, it was just so beautiful. Everything was just so organised and clean and easy to find and so that same day I came home and started making all of my lecture notes on Notion. So thank you Anthony if you're watching this for sharing your wisdom with me and let me now actually get into the video and show you what I do. So I've actually spoken about Notion quite a few times before, I'm a huge fan, I use it to like organise my whole life and I'll link some videos below so you can check those out. Um, but in one of my videos I talk about how my Notion page is set up so this is what home looks like for me as soon as I open the app and as you can see there's a link here which says medicine which is basically the page which holds all of my lectures, all of my notes, everything that I've done so far. So when I click into it I get into this page and essentially it's broken down into blocks and then into weeks. So our course is split into five blocks, we have just finished the second block and each block is split into five weeks and every week they release new lectures and you know new stuff that we need to do so I have basically set it up per block per week to make things easy to look up and access if I need to. So I'll start just at the top, um, these are different themes that the course covers so this one for example is clinical anatomy and imaging this one is cell and tissue biomedicine and if I click into them I can see everything that we have gone through so far for that theme so these are all of the different lectures that I've basically been through but I'll get into that in a bit more detail so scrolling down you can see block one this is basically everything I did for the first five to six weeks and the very first week, week zero, was like our welcome week, freshers week and that was the week where I was handwriting notes for everything so there's really not that much there. I then go into block one, week one and the way I've set it up is using this table. So Notion has a great range of tools that you can use to organise literally anything that you want. So you can create tables, graphs, timelines, it's endless what you can make and I've decided to keep it in this sort of table format so that I can basically see everything that I've done and I can add a bunch of different like settings to it. So in this very first column it's basically all of the lectures that I went through for that first week. So my second column is theme and here you can basically add a tag so you can tag it with whatever you want and you can change the colour and really just personalise it however you want to. So my third column is Anki and essentially this column is just a checklist for me to know whether I've made Anki flashcards for that lecture yet or not. And yeah, I still haven't made a few so this is helpful to know what I've done and what I haven't done. 
The next three columns are review dates. So these are the dates where I first did the lecture. So this was back in September. The second review was the day that I second kind of like went over the full lecture again. And third review, clearly I have not done that. But the idea is that I can see how long I'm leaving between each lecture. Um, and if I'm finding something pretty difficult, it would probably be beneficial for me to go over them more often. So essentially that's what this table does. So if I click on this lecture and then click on open as page, all of my notes appear. So the way that I have organized it is I have basically found the learning objectives for that lecture and made them into these toggles. And this is one of Notion's best features, I think. Um, you can basically click into this toggle so you can show or reveal things and hide them whenever you want. The way I'm using it is to put the learning objectives on there and then answer each learning objective with notes from the lecture. So for example, for this one, gastric motility and secretion, these were the learning objectives. And if I click into each one, I answer that learning objective. So it will be really useful as well if I want to like test myself. So if I want to know whether I know something, uh, I can just close all of these and try answering the question just to myself before having a look at the answer by opening the toggle. So for each toggle, as you can see, I've got all of my notes. Um, I do very often screenshot um, pictures and different things on the slides from my lectures. Um, and it makes it just super easy for me to relate back to what I was thinking or what I learned or something that I found interesting from that lecture. Something else that I really like, you can see these highlights here, these are comments. So if I want to write something and then make a note of something that I thought, I basically just select a word or words and I hit comment and then here I can add something I was thinking. And it will save that. So as you can see here on the right hand side you can see a bunch of the comments that I made for um, you know whatever they must have been talking about in the lecture. And you can add them, delete them, you can do whatever you want. So super super helpful. So yeah I basically just continue that for every single learning objective and it has been super super helpful. I then use these notes to make Anki flashcards which is a video for another day. So yeah, that's basically this page. If I go back, I can choose to view that table as an entire page so I can see everything that I've done so far. And then if I go back into medicine, into the main page, you can see that you have like a preview of that table there. And if I scroll down, you can basically see that I've done this for every single week, every single lecture that I've done. Scrolling down, I get to clinical skills and these are basically notes that I've made on lectures or seminars that we've had in person. Um, and I'm viewing this as a list simply because I didn't really like how it looked in you know, the table view. I didn't necessarily need the first, second, third review. So that's something else that's really cool that you can change the way that you view it. So this table, for example, if I wanted to view it as a list, I could view it as a list as well. And you can still keep all of your tags and all of the different filters that you've set for that table. And you can see that's what I've done here with this drugs list as well. So for each block we're given a set of drugs that we need to know. So this is a pretty cool way for me to know um, the type of drug and you know some examples of those drugs um, you can see here. And again I can change the way that I view it if I want to. So yeah, that's what that looks like. For the second block we had more drugs to learn so I decided to put them all in this board view which is pretty cool I think and I can like add different tags to it so I know what kind of drug it is and you can see along the top I have all of the different types of drugs as well so it will make it pretty easy for me to find something if I need to. So let me give you another example of um, you know one of my pages that say this one the heart and mediastinum. So again, I've got all of my notes. Most of these are just screenshots of images from the lecture that I literally can just drag and drop into the Notion page. So 
everything is referring back to that lecture. And as I scroll down, you can basically see I'm adding comments, I'm highlighting things, I'm changing the color of things. So something else that I wanted to mention that I absolutely love about Notion is the fact that I can find something so, so, so quickly. So when I was taking handwritten notes, sometimes I would, you know, just scribble something down on a random piece of paper that I'd find and then I would lose that paper and that note was like gone forever. And so it would really frustrate me if I couldn't remember something or if I didn't know where to find something. So one of the really, really cool features that Notion has is that if I click Command and F, I can search for anything at all. So let's say, for example, um, I wanted to find something on the liver. Notion will show me everything that has liver in it. So this one, for example, if I click into this page, it will show me everything that I did for liver physiology. And again, here you can see that I've split it into the different learning objectives. You can see how it's organized, how easy it is. All of these are screenshots that I've taken from the lecture itself. And it's just so easy to find things, so easy to view. And even within a page, if I wanted to find something, I would press again, Command F, and you know, if I'm looking for albumin, it will show me everywhere albumin is. So just so easy to find things. Okay, so now I'll go back to just the very first bit that I mentioned, these themes. This basically has every single one of those pages as like a list. So if I um, was looking again, let's say for liver, it will show me all of the lectures that I've made notes on that have liver in the title, which I think is, is pretty cool. And the last thing I wanted to share is this toggle here, which is contents. If I click on that, you have a contents list, which is linked. So let's say, you know, when I continue this and I have five blocks worth of information and I don't want to scroll all the way down to find something, I can literally just click on the week and it will take me directly to that point on the page, which is amazing. It's just gonna save me so much time having to scroll up and down and search for things. The way that you create this content page is in another one of the Notion videos that I made, so I'll link that again below so you can check that out. But yeah, it's just so easy, so convenient, saves so much time, it looks good, it saves me hours and hours because Typing is so much easier and I'm basically just copying and pasting information half of the time so I'm not having to pause the video like the lecture video as much and it's just such an easy way to find things so honestly I can't recommend this enough so yeah if you're a student like me make sure to check this out have a play around with it there are so many different tools and features on Notion which I think are amazing it is free for you to use and you just download it online. Again, I'll leave links to things in the description below. It may work for you, it may not. Either way, I definitely think it's worth trying. But yeah, I hope that you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.